Was this a good DVD worth getting? You're about to find out as WGS-TV reviews the United States Championship A Legacy of Greatness DVD. Hey YouTube, are you ready for your hot tag? Because VR is definitely time to work. Oh, hey folks, this is Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and you're watching WGS-TV, tough guy. YouTube, yeah, I've worked way back into another episode of WGS TV right here on youtube.com slash Russell Gamer. I am your friendly neighborhood Russell Gamer, and we're going to be doing today, guys and gals, on uh, on sports entertainment uh, tonight, this past week, I ended up reviewing the United States Championship, A Legacy of Greatness, and for the benefit of those who did not see it yet, you're going to see it now. Check this out. In the 80s and the 90s, the, the United States Championship was really a sought-after championship. I thought it was great to see a lot of the great classic matches uh, on these first two discs. Um, and, and I'm going to go ahead and show this again, but uh, this is what the Mid-Atlantic United States Championship uh, symbol looked like. But, you know, a lot of people think that the United States Championship uh, resonated from WCW. That's not true. It started with Mid-Atlantic promotions and Harley Race, it was the first ever championship and don't So is that Matt wrestling? Huh? Matt wrestling? Matt wrestling? <laughs> Mid-Atlantic promotions? Well, yeah. Put on a map. Matt wrestling? Yeah, well, in a sense, but I wouldn't, you know, I'm, you know, if they ever come out with a DVD of the best of Mid-Atlantic promotions... That's what I'm here for, folks, is to analyze things. Or analyze things, but I'm yes. here for okay. Um, with the three DVDs, you know, I'd have three guys that are really prominent with the United States Championship. Sting, representing like the late 70s and early 80s. We'd have Brett the Hitman Hart, who was the United States Champion. We'd have a close up. Yeah. 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 So it's so so good for a while. Folks, yeah. yeah, yeah so action. First off, we got the cover. There and we if, go. If you notice the cover, a lot of the, the, the figures you see on there were figures that were really. Uh, really associated with the United States Rick Championship. Blair. Woo! Yeah, Rick Flair, you see Booker T, you see Ricky the Sucker. Dragon, Steamboat, Lex Luger, and of course, they would have to have John Cena on there as well. John Cena, really, in my personal opinion, was trying to make the United States Championship more of a prestigious title when he won it back in 2014. There should be the next U.S. Champion, Brock Lesnar. And on the inside, the little crest they were talking about uh, that was on the belt. Yeah. Then the actual DB Dizzles. As you guys can see on there, Danny Bryan on there representing the uh, the, the reality era, I guess we could call it. Uh, you got Sting representing the, the late seventies and early eighties, and of course you have Bretton Hitman Hart, who was a two-time United States champion right around the time before he ended up suffering that concussion that ended his career. At Goldberg, definitely not one of the greatest U.S. champions, but. I mean, but he's still giving this props big, for props big, to do, I guess. So, yeah. And oh. I, I gotta say, um, I, I, throw I mean, your DVD all around here. One of the reasons why I love watching these DVDs is because it brings me back to the era of when wrestling was great. You know, and not talking about make Darren Young great again. Those segments, honestly, in my personal opinion, need to die. But I, I gotta say, um, when, when you see great classic matches, especially involving the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Barry Windham, there's even a match between Dusty Rhodes and and uh, Ricky Dragon Steamboat, which was uh, for the United States Championship. So and, then Rick Rude and Dusty Rhodes had some really good uh, well, matches they, also. Well, yeah, but they didn't feature them in this DVD set. But, they, but they did <laughs> feature Rick Rude and Sting for the United States Championship. That's when uh, Rick Rude had his back. Well, yeah, um, it was also around the time he was with Colonel Robert Parker. I wonder what he's doing nowadays, anyway. You know, he's, with Big Squaw. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. By the way, uh, yeah, trivia question of the week. What was Colonel Rob Parker's name in WWF? Yeah, he was mentioned. Double J. Double J. Double J. Double J. Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. But what was his name? Because mm. it wasn't Colonel Robert Parker. Robert Ford. Nope. Rob Fuller is real name, but... Yeah, but that's not what his name was in WWF. Right. It, it was... It was a, a recreation of his old name. In no, Tennessee. it wasn't. It was a completely different name. 
I mean, like when he, when he was a uh, territory days. Yeah, but uh, in WWF, he was known as Tennessee Lee. Tennessee Lee. Yeah. Yeah, that was the name of a uh, yeah, Southern uh, soldier guy. Yeah. yeah. So, um, again, for those yeah. of you who were watching the stream and didn't have any audio, I do apologize about that. But my official score for this DVD, it's a mm. four out of five. It's a great DVD set to have. Again, there are a lot of great classic matches on there, including a match with stunning Steve Austin when, yeah. when, he, when he had the hair, and he took on the great Muda for the United States Championship. And that's the bottom line. But, but uh, one match that I did find uh, really, really, uh, it was really, really well, it was the triple threat submissions count anywhere match that happened at Hell on the Cell 2014. Well, not 2014. Let me go ahead and double check the dates um, really quick here because I actually have it on here. And I've lost my place. Where is it? Uh, well, I thought they would have it listed on here, but apparently they don't. No, it, it would have to be on disc three. It happened at Hell in the Cell. Yeah, 2010. My, my apologies. Daniel it's Bryan, John Morrison. In the Miz. Yeah. You know, that was a good United States Championship match. And with, with the added stipulation of submissions count anywhere, that was a great match. But So if you want to have a great DVD set, which harkens back to the history of the United States Championship, when it was a good title, not like what WWE's done with it as of late, but when it was back as a good title, I highly recommend the, the United States Championship, A Legacy of Greatness, hosted by JBL. Ooh. A four out of five. Four out of five. Sports Entertainment tonight. We are live every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Central Time until further notice right here on YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer. Also, if you're in the uh, Cadiana area here in South Louisiana on the Cadiana Open Channel, Channel 15, be sure you check out check us out on there. Also, don't forget uh, WGS TV is on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You guys can ask me questions. Links will be provided in the description box below. And also, don't, for don't forget to check out the videos in the annotations at the end of this video to check out more from yours truly in the WGS Arcade and WGS TV. So with that being said, I am your friendly neighborhood Russell Gamer, and I will see you at the next Warp Zone. Bye, guys! It is a PlayStation! It's Crash Bandicoot! Wait, and I know who it is. I got money. I got money. There's Michelle. It's Kippy. And I was right.